dear students in the previous lecture we have seen about the various kinds of microorganism that have been present there in the soil in this lecture we are going to see in detail about some organism here the first one is bacteria why we are going to look at the points related to bacteria this is a table showing the distribution of various organisms their populations number in the soil and their respective biomass if you look at that bacteria is the one which is numerically dominant present in the soil environment whereas in the terms of biomass it's fungi that have been dominating there in the soil system so on this basis first we are going to look at some salient features about soil bacteria thus the bacterial population could be billion numbers of cells in a gram of soil so they are the most abundant and predominant organisms they are evolutionarily oldest group of organism and prokaryotic in nature meaning they don't have a complete nuclear membrane covering the nucleus they are microscopic unicellular organism they found to have a omnipotent metabolic capabilities and they are omnipresent also meaning they will be present in every location of this earth generally they don't have chlorophyll there are certain exceptions that is cyanobacteria and colorful sulfur oxidizers will be having the bacterial chlorophyll in them morphologically soil bacteria are divided into three groups that is cocci which is a spherical shaped the second one is a rod shaped and the third one is a spiral shaped among these three forms the bacilli or rod form is the one which is dominating there in the soil system in comparison with the other the most common method used to identify the bacteria is the soil dilution and plate count this soil dilution and plate count refers to the pore plate technique as well as the spread plate technique which you may be employing in the other subject practicals also so this allows a enumeration of viable or living cells in the soil the size of the soil bacteria ranges from 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter and up to 10 micrometer in length usually they are motile that is their movement is facilitated by the flagella bacterial population comprises of one half of the total microbial biomass in the soil and their numbers as i already told they will be ranging up to 1 billion per gram of soil depending upon the soil physical chemical and biological conditions or biological properties several scientists have been associated there with the soil microbiology whereas vinogradsky and scientists of ukraine origin is the one who have classified the bacteria based on the ecological characteristics he classified bacteria into autochthonous organism that is indigenous species and zymogenous organism that are referred as a foreign species or fermented species now we look at the other points related to the autochthonous organism they are all bacterial population that are present in uniform and constantly in the soil system since their nutrition is derived mainly from the native soil organic matter so ecologically if you classify they are all referred as a case strategist group of organism or case selected organism that the letter k stands for constant population of this organism that is exhibiting a very low maximum growth rate but producing stable biomass there in the environment example for this organisms includes acidobacteria and virucomicrobia next we look at the points related to the zymogenous bacteria they are the bacterial population which are present naturally in low numbers but when an external source of food or energy is available their numbers will increase a very clear example is the pseudomonas as well as the bacillus this is a table showing the dominant bacteria that have been occurring there in the soil system say for example we have already seen bacillus and pseudomonas are soil organism their populations are getting high under certain conditions when you look at what is the natural population of the bacillus in the soil it's actually very less say bacillus are all will be coming under the group of firmicutes 
you look at the percentage of fermi cures that have been occurring in the soil it's a very meager percentage and the next one the pseudomonas example pseudomonas is the one which should be coming under the group of gamma proteobacteria see this is a pseudomonas if you look at into the parent of this pseudomonas it will be gamma proteobacteria if you look at here the percentage of the gamma proteobacteria there in the soil system is again very less only 3 percentage of the gamma proteobacteria have been dominating there in the soil systems this thing they have proved based on the 6ns rrna genes of this organism in this if you compare the other proteobacteria the gamma proteobacterial population is very less whereas alpha proteobacteria is present in a very high numbers so this population of zymogenous bacteria increases gradually when specific growth substrate has been added to the soil say for example more amount of organic matter addition or litter addition will increase the population of this organism they are also referred as a r strategist or r selected organism from the ecological point of view here the letter r refers to rapidly multiplying populations of this organism they exhibit a high maximum growth rate and unstable in biomass carrying capacity in a soil system most of this zymogenous group of organisms belongs to cellulose decomposers nitrogen utilizing bacteria and ammonifiers that have been present in the soil system now we look at into the other informations related to the soil bacteria say what is the dominant culturable form of soil bacteria here culturable refers to that can be grown there in the petri plate why we are using such a term is if you look at this particular table it says about the organism that have been present in the soil it's not meaning that culturable organism that is all the organism present in the soil cannot be culturable then how the uncultured organisms will be studied they will be studied mainly based on the 6ns rrna genes so this is a list of dominant culturable organism that are present in the soil the first one is arthrobacter which constitutes about 40 percentage of the culturable population they are all heterotrophic and aerobic and showing a gram variable reaction that is gram positive or gram negative their function is related to nutrient cycling as well as the degradation of the organic matter present there in the soil system the next one is streptomyces both arthrobacter and streptomyces belongs to actinobacteria they are again the gram positive groups of organism heterotrophic in nature and mainly aerobic they constitute about 5 to 20 percentage of the culturable portion of the soil system they are also again involved in the nutrient recycling that is the carbon nitrogen sulfur phosphorus recycling are all and biodegradation in addition they will be producing different kinds of antibiotics there in the soil system and the third one is a pseudomonas that is a gram negative bacteria again heterotrophic group of organism aerobic and facultative metabolic feature and they possess the different inducible operons that gives their ability to degrade different kinds of substrate present in the soil system again they constitute 10 to 20 percentage of the culturable portions of the soil system they are involved in the nutrient cycling and biodegradation and even biocontrol that is controlling certain pathogenic organism that have been present there associated with the plant system as per the old classification the bacillus is also one of the dominating organism there in the soil system but with the recent information it is very clear that based on the 6ns rrna that have been recovered from the dna of the soils found to contain only firmicutes that is the bacillus group of organism of 0.5 maximum of only a 4 percentage is present there in a gram of soil